I'm Jessica, I'm from Santa Fe Springs, and I've been at Camp XL with Andrew for eight months. Um, before Camp XL, I mean, we used to try to work out on our own, but it's just, it's a pain trying to figure your own workout. It's nice having someone do that for you because like you said, we, you know, work all day and by the time we get home, I'm already pretty tired and to have to like go to the gym and like think about what I'm gonna do for the day, it just makes it difficult to want to work out on my own. Yeah, and for me, like, I've never had the knowledge, so, like, I didn't ever work out in high school, so it was like, I'd try to go to the gym and he would show me things, but then I would almost, like, interrupt his workout because I would need him to teach me, so it was kind of like we never really had effective workouts because I didn't know what to do and I would take time away from him, so it just never really clicked with us, like, us trying to do it on our own. Yeah, I mean, I think that it was just a decision that we made to like, okay, we're going to try this out for six months. And it was like, we're going to, because of this, we have to drop the seeing our friends on the weekdays. We have to drop, you know, maybe going out on Friday night so we can make it Saturday morning. So we definitely had to drop like maybe some social activities or errands or, you know, it's, you have to make time for it. It's not just like you can fit it in. Like you have to sometimes make it a priority to commit to it and basically like that's what we had to do we, we just made it a priority I started going into work at 7 a.m. instead of 9 a.m. so that I could take the commute home to make it in time for class so definitely adjusting our schedules to be able to fit it it all starts with Sergio Sergio's a great coach he's very motivating he always is out there trying to push us Dude has not to do better today. yeah he's <laughs> I mean the guy's there every day the weekends and he has a kid like and he's a very motivating guy like I said he pushes us to you know, our max, and it's nice to have someone motivating you, and he never misses a high five, I'll tell you that. Yeah. He gets everyone. <laughs> another excuse to spend time together because we're gone at work all day so that's already half the day gone that we don't see each other so I mean say I go work out without her guess what there's another two or three hours that we don't see each other and I get back I shower what we hang out for two hours a day I mean this allows us to spend more time together which really helps strengthen our relationship because it's an activity we do together as a couple. I mean I think we have a really strong relationship and we do share a lot of interests like we share like the interest in music we love sports so that's our weekend thing but I think this is something that we've grown in together which is a difference like the other things are kind of just these tangible things that we like but this is something that we really do together like obviously you see us compete like if we, we like to race each other like stuff like that so um, it kind of pushes us to grow because we are competitive and um, it's also something we enjoy to do. So I think that it helps overall. And when you feel better about yourself, you can feel better in your relationship. I mean, yeah, I just think that it's a very unique community as well. And maybe it's based on our location. You know, I'm over here, I've taken classes in Pasadena and they're just not the same. Like this is, it's structured, but it is a community and it's like relaxed and you know, it's not like we're not competing with one another, which is what I see so much at other gyms, is, is people like constantly looking around, like worried about what everyone else is doing. Like here, like it's supportive, like we want to see everyone else succeed. And I think that's really, really unique about this gym.